man. Alam is definitely deserving of that spawn. This dude is cracked. And he's trying to put a bubble on that cloud right now, after hours. Now, this is good. This is interesting for me because I have not seen Alam play pretty much at all. And I can see that he's pretty cracked with these jab blocks. God damn. And this is a matchup you kind of commonly really don't see a lot around here. Because Alam is pretty much one of the top villagers and only villagers to kind of just be in the scene here in New York. There's definitely some villager out there I'm disrespecting. If you are that villager, I'm sorry, bro. Just pull up. Let me know. Hit up my DMs. Let me know who you are. But right now, Alam's playing this pretty, pretty solidly right now. Bobo not hitting any of these techs, which is playing out pretty favorably as Alam's just able to get up so many conversions off the Nairs and the, um, the pots as well. Now this is kind of interesting because Villager's main approach options are really that, uh, that forward air back here. And you kind of just have to catch things just pulling these grenades and committing. He does have that pretty solid Nair as well. Very good move. I, I just find it so fascinating. I'm kind of like just watching this at the moment. <laughs> All right, the power of the stick ain't gonna do it. But Elam is equipped with the axe right now, and you already know that axe puts in a lot of work. Is a heavy hitter in villagers' artillery, and that tree gonna go away, meaning that axe gonna be tucked in the back pocket right now. And Bobo's kind of making this. All right, Bobo's kind of making this impossible for Elam to get in. As we saw, Bobo basically creates a whole minefield. Making it impossible for a lot of people to kind of just get in on them. And oh, what an aggressive forward there from Bobo. Not having any shenanigans. And all right. Bobo still ha showcasing that he does have those tech chases. A quick crouch under the Lloyd Rocket as well. But Alon finally able to get that first kill with the back here. All right, forward train across the stage. Solid 20%. Now with this with villager, this is very tricky because you really want to get that chip damage on Snake. There's not really a lot of situations where you're gonna kill him early, but you're gonna want to attack those because uh, that'll that'll definitely take you right out of the game if you miss those. And the C4 kind of just getting extended off of a long, very very unfortunate. And that grab as well can't be um, as a pretty sonic kind of slow startup. So in those situations, Bobo has some really fast escape options to kind of just get out of that. Oh, that Lord Rocket did not do a lot um, any favors, and the upset as well, catching it on startup. Wow. Well, we're taking this bad, this game one bad fiercely off of Alam's unfortunate miss tech. But I'm trying, to, I'm starting, I'm starting to to see the game plan here. I'm trying to formulate in my head. Villager snake, huh? Villager snake. Because the main way I see this game plan is that villager wants to just get the chip damage on stake and inevitably build up to those kills. I can see Alam throwing out those up smashes on the platforms trying to just do shield damage and try and catch a shield poke maybe from Bobo. But Bobo really hasn't been giving him um, too many of those opportunities as the grenades have pretty much been shutting down the villager's play and not allowing him to kind of just play his villager agenda. But we're going to battlefield here and I... If I'm a llama, I'm very shook because judging from that set from Reed, Bobo is a very, a very, very scary force to be reckoned with on Battlefield. Seeing that way that he uses the platforms to kind of just set up grenades, 
his kind of walls and everything. The C4s not to mention, and just overall movement with the platforms. It's very, 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 very good. And you can already see, but uh, Alama's ball was uh, gassing up Bobo here. Alama's taking a lot of control of this game. 105 on Bobo right now. And one of the good things about Villager's kit is... Oh! Caught that with the down air. God damn! This is very tricky because... Bobo using, trying to use the extension of the tree to just continue that up smash. It was very, very smart recognition. But this is kind of where you just get OS by grab. Just covering so many options just all at once. And oh, very nice roll from Alam. Kind of just evading that situation. Just getting a quick good old one-two. And trying to read an air dodge from Bobo. Bobo will not yield that air dodge, but hold up. We're getting the Dukes out here. Bobbing and weaving. I see, I see the vision now. I see the vision now, Alam. I see you, all right. Destroying that Cypher did so much work. <laughs> so amazing. Take out the Cypher and that was an immediate stock for Alam. That was so good. I guess with Snake, you just really have to add those angles just kind of coming back up with your recovery. And I can see why Bobo has been going on high, but Bobo loves just going for those chases with the up air. You already know. I think it's just when they know, they know. But right now, this is pretty favorable for Alarm here. 103 on Bobo, but we already know. Bobo loves to be in that mix. Just going to play this out very, very well with the grenades. Because you are... You are pretty much guaranteed to just get that trade damage, especially if you get hit. Or if you're kind of just stumbling into the setup on shield. Nalam just trying to get this tree on up and going. Now we have the axe into play as well. A back air definitely might do it if he's able to land it here. But a good old twig to set on up to the heavens. He's going to be getting this game set to a game three. Also, thank you, Alam. I now see the villager visit. Ah, uh, there. I now see the vision. Uh, I'm seeing it in full force right now. And now we are going with the counter pick song. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh, There's no sticker brush symphony. We're going with um some nice DK tunes. The DK tunes are they're pretty fire in Smash. I'm not gonna lie. And definitely have one of the best overall collections. And oh, there we go. We are going with Sticker Brush Symphony. That song is too epic. You already know. But okay. Changing up the game plan maybe just a little bit. We are going to small battlefield. There's going to be no center platform, which has done Bobo a lot of justice. Now, the thing I worry about is you don't really have that space to kind of just um, run around with and kind of camp and zone. But we already know. These players, they they don't want to play that zone again right now. And you can already see that Alam loves going in the mix and getting in there. As you can see, they're already toe-to-toe -to -toe in percent right now. The grenades going very fiercely, setting the tone for this very climactic final battle here. And there we go. You got the tree set up. Trying to get the extension off the bowling ball as well. Alam, Alam's use of the tree has been pretty, has been showing up very, very cleanly here in the set that has kind of just been playing out. And we can see that Bobo can utilize that tree just as much, so that's always a danger that is present around. Yep, not catching that jump from the shield. Bobo having that immaculate patience, just waiting on the platform here. And not catching Alam overstepping any boundaries here with that forward air. That would have been so. That would have been a done deal. Dead. Flat to down to the blast zone. And you could see a bit of axe play coming on out. Axe is a very strong move. It does a lot of shield damage. So he's always going to have to be aware. 
But all right, Bobo going up on high, but along with the reactions, getting in the good old up air. Three turnips. Very strong move. And Alam already knows what Bobo wants. Bobo wants that good old stanky leg to get you right on up there. But right now, Alam is kind of shutting down those hopes and dreams of that. Covering the tech in place with the Nair, getting that damage on up. And you can see Alam kind of just dancing around Bobo as well. Kind of playing in his threat range and his zone is like, oh, I'm going to be here. You ain't going to get that grab. You ain't going to get that up tilt. I am watching, dog. And not able to get the extension off that backer as well. That's going to be so bad for Bobo right now. As Bobo is kind of just struggling to find a stock from Alam here. And Alam with a beautiful weight just to chop off the head of Bobo. Going for a quick three stock here. And oh, not quite getting the good old Gentleman's for that stock right now. But dash attack, oh, not quite taking it as well. But this is definitely looking like Alam, Alam's final curtain right now. Bobo just running up in there with the dash attack move. is getting kind of quite stale right now. Down tilt still not taking it. We've already learned that down tilt is a very, very deceptive move, not being able to kill at very high percents like that. All right, Tree is out to play once again here. We have Alon just kind of slinging that shot all around. Forward air is just doing so much work right now. And the Lloyd Rocket. Bobo was able to catch it on startup, but that explosion is just going to be uh, getting some damage on up. And oh! All right. Opting to go from the other side, the sticky, sticky grenades to kind of keep Bobo back in this game. Keep Alam second guessing on these recoveries, and it's been doing phenomenal. And not quite get the, not quite getting the tech off the C4. That was uh, the momentum that Bobo pretty much was going to need to get this stock and maybe this game from Alam. But right now, Alam's playing super hot. Just catching him with the stick, picking up the pieces and chasing off the up air. That is going to be Alam set. Two to one, baby. Now, if you excuse me, I got to play in Redemption. I'll be back. I'm starting to warm up. I'm starting to warm up, I swear, guys. Thank you. 